people associate Philips with the lighting business, with our audio business, with our CD businesses, with our domestic appliances. I would say that over the last uh, 15 years now, we have transformed ourselves as a health tech company. The larger purpose of Philips, which is touching 2.5 billion lives by 2030 or 2 billion lives by 2025, when you reduce the time of a patient in an MRI scanner from 8 minutes to 30 seconds and that to a person who has come for a cardiac scan, you can imagine what a big relief for that patient is going to be who is already in a difficult situation. Over the last uh, 15 years now, we have transformed ourselves as a health tech company. We have also been uh, responsible for adapting the digital technologies and the digital revolution which started much later in the 90s. And that foundation of software and the digital capabilities are helping us to the next level of transformation, which we call it as uh, our age of intelligence. We are close to 28 years. In the next two years, we'll be completing 30 years of our decade, uh, three decades of our expertise here. Just like many other organizations, we started with 50 odd or 100 odd uh, software engineers. We are close to about 5,000 people in this particular campus. We are the largest innovation campus uh, uh, for Philips. If you take our MRI machine, which you also saw in our lab today, I can very proudly say that close to about 100% of the software for that uh, MRI machine uh, the enterprise software is being done here. Innovation and design. So design is one of the important functions that we run from PIC there. Uh, and you know, when we are talking about uh, the product, it's just not the physical design. Even on a software, how do you put your interfaces together? Are they simple to use? Are they attractive enough? Can patients understand when it comes to our uh, personal health? These are all uh, coming in from our uh, design team. So our number one is how are we impacting the patient lives? So in that context, the first thing that I want to tell you is that when you reduce the time of a patient in an MRI scanner from eight minutes to 30 seconds, and that to a person who has come for a cardiac scan, you can imagine what a big relief for that patient is going to be who is already in a difficult situation. Single breath hold, you can take the entire cardiac uh, data, which then can be further segmented for making the decision and diagnosis by the clinicians. Number one, by reducing from eight minutes to 30 minutes, there are that many number of less uh, time where the person is need to be into that MRI, which is claust which could be claustrophobic and in a cold environment. What does it mean from a clinician standpoint? They can scan many more patients like this. We talked about in the morning that how the access to care in the country is very difficult. Not everybody can hire, uh, can can hire the trained cardiologist or radiologist to do MR scan. And even buying the uh, MRI machine, which is uh, expensive uh, for everybody to be scanned on, right? So with these kind of applications, clinicians can do more number of scans on the same system. Similarly, uh, they are able to uh, uh, identify and save time for themselves so that they can focus on uh, providing better care to more people. We talked to you about our manufacturing uh, facility in Pune, which is our innovation site as well as the manufacturing site. Specifically to the MR example that we talked about, the coils which are used uh, for uh, scanning, as an example, the brain coils, the head coils, the neck coils, those coils for globally are manufactured in Pune. That's a really a state of an art facility. If anywhere uh, uh, in the world, if a customer is using a coil that is being manufactured in Pune. For AI to be adopted in the, in the healthcare or for other in any other industry, there is a, there is a trust that need to be built. Uh, we follow all the data privacy rules before that data comes in. Quality and patient safety is a number one uh, priority for Philips. That's a culture, that's a DNA. These, each of these labs are designed to make sure that these algorithms, these software that we release are tested multiple times. If we as in India, as we are all talking about in multiple forums about the GCC capabilities, I think it is very important that we move away from the cost arbitrage and all of that, which used to be the 
essential element of how the GCCs were evolved in the country and moved towards the value delivery. We work very closely with AWS and uh, uh, moving, uh, migrating our packs from on-prem devices to cloud. The most significant aspect uh, in this whole thing is the co-creation with our clinical partners. By 2030, we will be further more advanced. We'll have a more uh, uh, areas uh, where uh, the, the diagnosis, uh, the imaging performance, the speed of the products, and all of that will be uh, at a significant level. Touching 2.5 billion lives by 2030 or 2 billion lives by 2025, that's a staggering number and that brings in a huge responsibility and huge challenge for us to make sure that as a healthcare responsible health tech company, we deliver the innovations which can impact our consumers and the patient and overall health and well-being of uh, the people. And that makes it the people-centric and the patient-centric healthcare innovation aspect, which is into core DNA of Philips.